Hello, and welcome to Nana's Kitchen. How are you today? I know everyone is probably going to... Hey, Rusty. Hey, Tommy. I am just getting set up. I want to do a air-fried blooming onion. Hey, Lisa. How are you? And I've used my spoon. Let me grab another spoon. Alright, guys. First, I want to talk about how we're going to cut this onion. So, I've done a couple already this morning. And um, I don't have a fancy blooming onion cutting utensil or anything like that. So, I'm just going to start by cutting off the top. And I'm going to cut off just a little bit of the root. I don't want to cut into the onion, but I do want to cut into the root. And I'll judge that again here in just a minute. Okay? Alright, so I'm just going to quickly take most of the peel off. And the rest of that will come off as I'm cutting. Okay, now there have been a couple of different ways that it said to do this, but I found this to be my easiest way today. Um, so I'm turning it over on the side with opposite of the root, and I'm going to come down from the root just a little bit, and I'm going to start making, I'm going to make four cuts um, initially. opposite of each other, okay? Now within those four cuts, I am going to make two more cuts and just kind of got to look because it's hard to see my cuts sometimes with my eyesight. So we celebrated the holiday on Saturday. What are you guys doing? Hey Pam. Hey Chris, I didn't see you pop on. Alright guys, so now I'm just going to finish peeling that outer layer off. I had to run to the store because I ran out of one of the ingredients in the midst of doing this. I do have water boiling which could set off the fire alarm. And I'll show you about that in just a minute. Grilled burgers for lunch. Uh, well, we're having burgers also for dinner tonight. But my husband wanted um, either onion rings or something. So I decided to give a shot at a blooming onion. So that's what we're doing. Hey, Kate. All right, so I have just a little bit of the root that I needed to finish cutting off, and now I need to core it. Hey, Brody. So I'm going to kind of pull back just a little bit. I don't want to break anything off. Hope you can see it. I'm going to take my paring knife and cut out the center. Not to the root. I do not want to cut this to the root. So I'm kind of peeling back as I cut and cutting down on the core. And it just takes a minute to get it all cored. And again, they make a tool, so the internet says. Um, but 
I don't need one more tool. And there I have my cord onion. Now I am going to now place this in hot water, boiling water for one minute. Let me time that. And then when I come out, when it comes out, it's going right into an ice bath, which is also right here beside me. Just gonna throw this away. So I'm just, again, in the hot boiling water one minute that allows, hey Tina, that allows for the onion to open up. We love onion rings too, uh, Karen, and I did onion rings earlier in this week, this week um, and um, that's why we're doing it, um, the blooming Onion today, just because I like to do something different. Okay, while that is waiting, we have about six seconds. Um, and then I'm just going to transfer that over. There it goes. I'm going to transfer that right out of the water and into my ice water. And I'm going to shut. That just stops the cooking process. I'm trying to stop the cooking process. Let me get this. Okay. So now let's get the steam out of your face. So now that is cooling. Again, I'm stopping the cooking process. And next, I am going to prepare our mix. So I originally made, I've made two. They're ready for you to see. And I originally made it where it was just enough flour. And I found it very difficult to work with because you're trying to get the flour into the nooks and crannies of the um, onion. So this time I've started with one cup of um, almond flour, but that is gonna be too much. Ori originally I was only doing um, about a half a cup to three quarters a cup, okay? Now I am going to add flaxseed meal to it for the coloring. Also, it helps it bind just a little bit better, um, I found, and that's just a tablespoon of that. If you don't have that, um, maybe try mm, some of the binding agent that you use in your baking. I'm going to use about half a teaspoon of paprika, salt to taste. I'm going to add half of a tablespoon of the ranch, buffalo ranch spice. Um, I got this one at Food City, but you can also get it at um, Sam's. I don't know why it's got the steam sitting here next to the steam. I think it messed it up, so I'm just going to add a little more of that. All right. Cayenne pepper must have probably about a quarter of a teaspoon, but again, it's to taste. If you like it a little spicier, then go for it. And then I want to add a little Obey. And again, about a quarter of a teaspoon. Yeah, all of my seasonings are kind of the uh, steam and being so close to the steam, they're a little sticky. All right, so I'm just gonna toss this together and mix it well. And we're doing this in the air fryer. Hey, Ruth Ann. Hey, Brenda. How are you? Hey, Jenny. What are y'all doing today? 
again, we celebrated on Saturday because the, the weather kept saying rain, 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 rain. And my husband works on Mondays, um, regardless of it being a holiday. So, all right, so I've just incorporated those ingredients here. Next, I'm taking an egg and some almond milk, and I'm gonna whip that together. Maybe about two tablespoons of almond milk, maybe. I really have to just think about it, guys, when I'm talking to you, cause if you've known me for a long time, you know I just put things together. Measuring is only for the purposes of you guys. Guys, if you're catching me live, you know that by the little red live here in the corner. You'll drop a one in the comments, and if you're catching me on the replay, hashtag replay. If you have never watched one of Nana's kitchens before, put new in the comments so I know that. Guys, I'm going to put some Frank's hot sauce into this. And that's about half of a tablespoon. That's one of the reasons why I had to run down to the store because I'm going to need that in a minute. And I'm just going to mix this. All right. Now, like I said, my onion is in the ice water to stop the cooking process. I am going to pull it out and put it into the, mm, nope, I'm gonna put it into the, almost messed that up. I'm gonna put it into the um, flour mixture. And then while that sits there for half a second, I'm putting on my gloves because I'm gonna have to touch it and I, it's gonna make a mess. All right, so I've, I've done this so many ways, the last way I liked best, so I'm having to think that through. Come on, even my hands don't wanna go in the gloves today. Well, it could help if I turn the glove around right. All right, now, I have, try to see what y'all can see. All right, so here I am really going to just get that flour mixture into the nooks and crannies. You really wanna overfill it because we're gonna shake it out in just a second. We're gonna do some dipping back and forth, but you really want to coat this very well and getting in there, pull it apart if you need to, and get in there and coat it. Okay? That's why I needed the extra, because I really wanted to make sure that it's coated well, and you are going to turn it upside down. Coat it again. Shake it off. And see, even though I had too much to start with, with working with this, I don't have that much left and I still have to do another one. Hey, Angel, how are you? All right, now I'm gonna take it and put it in my egg wash. But guys, what I found was that um, it was easier if I spooned a little on top, put it in a separate bowl. Now I can spoon it. Cause again, I'm trying to get into the nooks and crannies and I'm gonna actually transfer this back into this other bowl and do it again. Okay? So I'm gonna, again, I want to make sure I've got it completely covered. So I'm gonna scoop it easily try to do easy as possible because I'm gonna tear it up and I'm gonna pour again okay again I just want to make sure it's completely covered now I'm going to dip in flour one last time okay all right again 
I want to cover it completely. And see, guys, I really feel like I could have gone with two uh, cups of, of almond flour so I don't have to be scraping the sides. And once that is completely covered, as you can see, hey Angie, how are you today? Hey Steve, glad y'all caught me. I am doing a um, blooming onion. All right, so now I'm gonna take even the wet that's wet and really pat it on the outside of my onion. Again, I'm just trying to get it fully coated. And see guys, even though I added more um, flour this time, I've used it all. So I think as much flour, I probably could have done two, um, two of those, two cups of almond flour. I would stick probably with the same with the rest of my ingredients, but just so I have extra almond flour. Okay, now, I'm going to spray the bottom of this with the oil spray of your choice and lay it into my air fryer. And I'm gonna let the uh, petals fall, kind of stretch them out there. And now I'm gonna spray the inside and I'm making a mess with my can, but I'll clean it up. All right. Now, I'm going to turn on my air fryer, but the first 20 minutes, I'm going to just bake it, and um, it bakes at 365 for 20 minutes, and then the last, um, no, excuse me, 365 for 10 minutes, and then the last six minutes, I'm going to put it on my air fryer, and that's just to make sure it's good and crunchy and done. All right, so let me move this out of the way. I'm going to show you my so dipping sauce, and then I will show you my finished product. So I have one cup of full-fat mayonnaise. To that, I am going to add, if I see it, oh, I had to take it out of the bag. Told you I had to run to the store because I was out of Frank's hot sauce. What kind of hot sauce do you guys like? I like the Frank's, so that's what I go with. If I can get it open. Actually, what I really like is the Firehouse sub sauce but I haven't been there to replenish. Okay, so one cup of mayonnaise, I'm gonna add two heaping spoons of sour cream to that. Cayenne pepper to taste. What's in my air fryer? If your air fryer doesn't have a bake feature, that's okay. Just adjust the air frying time. Um, I, I would need to look and see kind of what, what yours had on it as to what. Mine just has that. Um, I'm adding about a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne. And then I'm going to add several splashes. I said 20. I counted to 20 of the Frank's hot sauce. Now I'm going to mix it and then I will decide if I need more. Um, you know, you could put it on a, a baking rack um, so that the air gets underneath it and actually put it in your oven for that 10 minutes. Amy. Alright guys, this needs more hot sauce. I'm looking for a color. I'm going to actually just take the lid off. 
I probably put another teaspoon in there. Oh yeah, that's much better. And of course it needs salt. My daughter would say it needs obey. Nancy, did I say hello? Sweetie, if I didn't, I'm sorry. All right, let me get you. Let me taste this. Oh, that's good. Yep, that's good. Hang on, let me get my finished products. doing blooming onions was today so the first one I did is this one and I didn't core it okay I was like it'll fall apart if I core it and so that meant that it didn't open up fully and you can kind of see that it didn't open up fully the second one this pan is hot guys so I'm trying to this one I cored, and to me, it is a beautiful, almost looks like a lotus blossom. So, there you have it. Both of those were done in my air fryer. Let's taste it. Let's see. All right. Here's my petal. Oh my gosh. Why well, haven't I done this sooner? That is good, guys. It The seasoning, the crust has a crunch. The onion is still tender and yet has a crunch, so it's not mushy. That's good. Mm. Good stuff. As my grandson would say. Mmm. Good stuff, Nana. Good stuff. All right, guys. I will post my um, blooming onion recipe into the group where I place my uh, recipes. If you are not part of the group, hey, Pat, put group in the comments. I have to be your friend in order to post, uh, add you to the group. So if we are not Facebook friends, please friend request me. If you find value on this, share it out. And if this is on a shared site, not on Nor Nana's homepage, I don't necessarily see your comments. So if you'll tag me on it, and if I'm not a member of the group, it may not even let me see it then. The best way to get it is to send me a a private message or a friend request and, and ask me for this information and I'm happy to provide it for you. Selena, we just finished making, and this pan is hot, blooming onions and a blooming onion sauce. Kind of the Outback style. And I did it with almond flour and my air fryer. So it was all done there. Hey Rob, you'll have to catch me on the replay as I just finished up a Blooming Onion Nana style um, to make sure that I could keep that low carb for our family. And then I made these for individuals. So I know really you could share it, but because I was making them for you today, it made it where I needed three. Um, two for testing and one to finish up for your live and so uh if you will catch me on the replay you will see how i did without a blooming onion chopping machine how i did a blooming onion low carb and enjoyed um bringing this to you guys this is it might not make it to the table if i continue i'll tell you the sauce really adds to the flavor. All right, guys. Welcome to Nana's Kitchen. 
I hope you found value in this. It does, Martha, oh my gosh, it is so good. And so much low, much lower carb. Mm-hmm. That flour just adds to the carbs, and it even asks for cornstarch. That adds to the carbs. All of those adds to your carbs, and so I was looking to do it much lower carb. Hey, Julie, I just finished up, so you'll have to catch me on a replay. Hey, there's my sister Maria. Mwah. Love you. I thought you were in the mountains. Catch it on the replay and learn how to make a blooming onion. Mike will love this, and it's low carb. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.